Hi, this is Alan with Text Nation TV, still covering CES 2013. And apparently the only people that I can interview are telepresence ones. As you know, that this is not my first robot interviewing here at CES. But this one, though, um, may be a little more impressive. So it's teamed up with iRobot and InTouch Health. And what they've done is they've taken the iRobot technology, which you've you may already have an iRobot in your house, uh, Roomba and uh, Scooter, the vacuum cleaners that will clean your house. You don't have to be there and return back to the docking station. The same people that make that created the bottom half, and the top half is with InTouch Health. But right now, when it introduced Charlie from iRobot to tell us about the, uh, the robot part and maybe the history and how you and InTouch combined to create this, uh, I guess, health robot. Yeah, sounds good. So, uh, yeah, I'm with iRobot. Uh, we've been building practical robots for 20 years now. Uh, you probably know the Roomba vacuum cleaning robot. We have the Scuba floor washing robot. We have gutter cleaners and, and pool cleaners as well. Uh, in addition to a, a line of defense robots uh, that have been used for bomb disposal. We've also gotten into remote presence. And one of the first uh, products that have uh, been involved with on that side of the business is RP Vita. Uh, this came out of a partnership that we have with InTouch Health. In Touch Health has been providing remote presence robots to hospitals for quite some time now. And what iRobot did was provide the autonomous navigation and mobility to that type of platform so that doctors can dial this into dial into this robot from anywhere in the world using an iPad or a, or a laptop computer and communicate with patients. So it's instrumental as far as keeping up with patients, seeing how they're doing, uh, performing diagnosis, monitoring patients. Uh, you can use a stethoscope that's integrated onto the robot. Uh, there's a phone so you can have private conversations with patients, but it's making sure that that doctor is at the right place at the right time and armed with the right information to, uh, to, to ensure good patient care. All right, what I, like, what I like is you said you can control it with your iPad, so the doctor doesn't have to be glued to a computer with a webcam to operate this. The doctor can be mobile as well as the robot being mobile. Right, the doctor doesn't have to have a set station. Uh, the, you know, doctors and for that matter a lot of people now are traveling around with iPads so if they're on the move and they're traveling they can maintain that communication with their patients and hospital staff no matter where they are. Alright another question speaking of iPad is it just iOS or Android tablets and Windows tablets able to communicate with the MP Vita as well? Uh, right now it's just the iPad um, but there's also a laptop option to use as well. Well thanks Charlie. Um, I'm actually going to have a uh, Mr. Chelton here uh, described the top half, and I appreciate it. All right. Thanks. Thank All right, now we have Chelton here with InTouch Health, who has uh, helped develop the top half of MP Vita here. The more the uh, get into the health side of it on how doctors can communicate with their patients, but also, um, I guess, diagnose and take care of patients. And I'll let uh, Chelton here give me the tour on the health side of it. Thanks a lot, Alan. So what you can see here is that I'm using this iPad as an interface to allow me to beam remotely into the system. So a doctor is going to be perhaps in their home or in a large city, they're going to beam out to a rural hospital and provide expertise. From, from there what I can see is I've got the video on my iPad, I'm able to control the cameras, so as I move around you can see that the actual RP Vita's head is moving, it's going to where I'm directing the camera. So if I wanted to examine a patient, I'll be using the iPad to control the cameras there. What I can also do is bring up vital signs that the patient might have on my iPad as well, and so I'm able to assess the patient and make a better clinical decision. What I can also do is take advantage of some of RP Vita's medical diagnostic features, such as the stethoscope. So I'm able to use the stethoscope to assess the patient, listen to their heart rhythms at a distance, and that's really important to provide care. All right, you were talking about um, vital signs. Is there a way, or is an attachment in MP Vita like they would attach to the finger or something like that is how they would be able to detect as well? Right, so some of the things that we can attach to RP Vita, uh, we're able to, obviously the stethoscope is one of them. One of the others, we'll often use a portable ultrasound or an otoscope, so sometimes the doctor wants to look in your ear and sort of understand you know, more about your condition. So we have a, a whole set of devices that we can plug into the side of RP Vita and, and take advantage of that, yes. Okay, I know uh, privacy is a pretty big issue with medical. I mean, first of all, 
you got to trust, you know, you got a robot looking at you. I mean, you know, it's a doctor on the other side, but you may not want all your business being told. Um, is there a way to um, help with that? Sure, absolutely. So one interesting thing was Johns Hopkins University actually did a study on whether or not patients would be happier seeing their own doctor through the robot than seeing a stranger. So a doctor they'd never met before. And sure enough, patients by far preferred to see a doctor that they were familiar with. But there's always a, you know, there's a time where you want to have a private conversation. And so if you can open up the side panel there, you actually see that there's a, a phone that you can use. So if I take out that phone, then you can imagine that instead of having, you know, the robot with its pretty big speakers addressing the whole room, you can have that privacy, you know, conversation. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, that's uh, probably definitely a big plus for this. We close that there, and everything's compact, as you can see, fit through hallways, doorways. I'm sure it was designed that way. Absolutely. So it's taken advantage of iRobot has built this amazing navigation platform. So with this platform, what we can do is we can have a map of the whole hospital. Then all the, ha the doctor has to do is bring up on their iPad where they want to go, and the RP Vita is able to drive there autonomously. It can also figure out when it's running out of battery and go back and self-dock so it can drive from anywhere in the hospital, drive all the way back, and start charging itself back up again. So just like the Roomba and the Scooter, it knows that, hey, I'm getting low, it's time to go back home. Exactly. So the, the Roomba technology and the scuba, they've really done a whole lot of really innovative things, understanding surfaces, understanding mobility, and it just made a lot of sense for InTouch to partner with iRobot to take advantage of that expertise and then bring all of our medical sort of understanding and background to that partnership. Great. Also, is this where the patient will communicate with the doctor as well, this display right here? Yeah, so this, this display, we call it the torso display, and what this allows us to do um, we will have the ability to enter data onto there, but for the most part what we want to do is make it easy to send the robot around. So sometimes a nurse will not want to sort of push a cart or push some other thing. They're going to just press navigate, they're going to click room, and then they're going to choose which room they want the system to navigate to. So they're basically able to send the robot autonomously to where they want um, without having to push it around or follow it through the hospital. And you know, we've been navigating around CES, lots of people coming by here. Yeah. We haven't run into anybody, and that's kind of a testament to how incredible the technology that iRobot's brought to this partnership is, you know. Great. Um, in the future, do you see with this that maybe it can also dispense medication, like if an elderly patient or maybe even a hospice patient, you know, who maybe can't open bottles anymore or anything like that, like a doctor could actually, like, put a tray, or they could put a tray in here and actually... At a certain time, it will come to you and dispense your medication? Sure. There's all sorts of future applications that we're always investigating. And, you know, a big part of this, like the stethoscope, was all about, you know, our physician partners identifying a need. And so then we'll build in those new features as, as we better understand the needs of our users. So we really care about making sure that our doctors are really happy. And so, you know, that kind of feature is exactly the sort of thing where we investigate and we do clinical sort of validations and trials and it wouldn't surprise me if you see that kind of thing in the in the near future too. Well, fantastic. Chelton, I appreciate it. Thanks very much. No problem. And this is MP Vita, my uh, second uh, robot friend that I've met here at CES. And um, when is it available now, or is this uh, just a uh, prototype? Yep, this robot has actually already gone through FDA Class 2 certification, not only for the top, but also for the bottom, so it's the only autonomous navigation capable robot that has FDA class 2 clearance and we'll be shipping this to our customers this quarter. All right, fantastic. So MP Vita is uh, ready to go to a, a home near you and stay tuned uh, for more from CES 2013. Also stay tuned. Uh, we're going to show this uh, guy off in action.